we have no water left our son is gone our wife is still complaining about being thirsty ted's about to die of thirst and he's crazy like we're not gonna make it. i don't know why soup does not replenish water hey guys and welcome back to let's play 60 seconds part two this probably won't get further than this part honestly like it's not water all right day 15 <laughs> We stopped arguing, but for how long? Dolores is good. Ted has one foot in the grave. He has to get a drink right now. I'm sorry, Ted. We don't have anything. We didn't think we would get a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but that's what we were offered. We don't have cards. Ted, don't die. Oh my god, he's back. Thank god. He brought water. Oh my god, and soup. Oh my, I got this gas mask and a map. And he brought, oh, he brought the gas mask map and book. I wish he brought more water. Ted, you're gonna live. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that? To set the kids, we need supplies. We're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Oh, I wasn't even reading it. <laughs> we were so afraid for timmy but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now the local school is a big building a mile away from our house nobody liked that place the atomic blast didn't change that now without windows and a few walls remaining it looks even more unpleasant pleasant or not it seemed like a good spot to hunt for some useful supplies the biology class had an aquarium the fish had died since no one fed them but the aquarium water could still be drinkable there was enough for a few bottles two bottles really pe teacher was a world war ii veteran kept some of his war trophies and memorabilia in his office at school this included grenades a bazooka a fully functional gas mask the local scout team had its own room in the school basement. We found it filled with boxes and boxes of scout handbooks. Maybe they were preparing for the apocalypse. Anyway, we just took one. The geography classroom is very poorly equipped. The only useful item we could find was a map. Still better than nothing. At one point during our expedition, we were ambushed by a pack of mutated cockroaches. Managed to scare them away with bug spray. Oh yay, you used the bug spray. In their nest, we found two soups. We didn't bring back the bug spray from the expedition, yes. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy is sick. Timmy is tired. Dolores will not last long without water. And he needs water as well. Everybody has not have water. You can have the first aid kit. Oh, we don't have one, Timmy. Mm. I'm sorry, Timmy. And we can spread out the food as well. I wish he came. I wish I took her. We didn't get to get a phone call after the atomic bomb dropped yet here we are we can clearly hear a phone ringing outside it must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street um no one has to go you know what ted go for it he's crazy though i don't think it'll end well hopefully he brings oh when we answered the phone we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller they introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We said start an exchange of information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. Hope they will get back to us. Ted has safely returned. Timmy should eat something. Dolores is fine. Everybody's good. Um, he's hungry, so he can eat. Everybody else is cool. Yes, we are preparing for an expedition. Ted, you are next. It is very difficult to prepare for unforeseen consequences when you don't see them coming. Well, they're unforeseen by definition, so that does make a lot of sense. We can't say we were prepared for what happened. What happened? Did Timmy die? Oh my gosh. No, everybody's cool. Everybody, Everybody's good. What to make of today will be our tomorrow. So let's make it right. Every day Ted is becoming more and more absent-minded. I turned on the radio. Since early this morning, he's been completely committed to reading a newspaper. Rather, something that he seemed to think was a newspaper. Our toilet tissue. He seemed very interested in it, so he didn't want to drag him away from his reading. He had to answer a call of nature, but then he accidentally reached for our map. Suffice to say, it is unusable now. Absolutely unusable. However, Ted didn't seem very bothered by it, and when we tried to make him realize what he'd done and take back, the toilet paper he just muttered that he might lend it to us when he's finished timmy's hungry she's good ted's good eat up timmy poor baby um and we'll water but none for you we're feeling pretty optimistic ted it is all you you take the gas mask with you 
and we'll see you in a couple days i really hope because he just ruined our map so oh god he's gonna die because we don't have a first aid kit we are out of water how did that happen what timmy's good well he at least he was five minutes ago there has to be someone dolores is dying he went to the surface Oh, no, we have water. Why is it, like, hidden? Timmy's good now. He's just sick. It's really hard. Yes, it's really hard to decipher anything from a ruined map. So it'd be good idea to restore it a bit. Patch it up with a little... Maybe even update it. Go ahead, use your Boy Scout book. Oh, I hear coughing. Sh is she sick now, too? 20 days. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> good news. We got ourselves a map that we can use. Question is, can anyone read it properly? Timmy's sickly. Dolores is fine. Rationing. Um, we are pretty low. You can have food today, guys. Hear that? No, because no one's talking. Not a word in hours. None at all. We can't just sit, stare and stare at the wall. We need to do something. There is a radio. Ted's never coming back. Like. Oh, we are almost out of water again. Timmy came in the nick of time. Uh, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there. Timmy needs a drink and Dolores is great. I hear bad no songs. Oh dear, we just remembered we planned on taking a trip south in two months. If this, if it's still there, we're going right. Pretty sure they don't know bomb, they don't bomb warm places. All right, she's sick. She's still sick. I don't have a first aid kit. You're gonna die if you're gonna die, okay? Let's just leave all those questions for now. Timmy's fatigued. Dolores has to drink. Okay, you get food. You get the last of the water. <coughs> and we can't do that. So. When is he coming back? We are out of water. The signal has to wait. If we don't do anything about Timmy's sickness, it might get worse. I can't. Dolores is doing quite well. We have no water left. Nobody's eating. Nobody's nothing. It's tough surviving these conditions. Let's hope this will be over soon. Or else we might end up dead in some wasteland ditch. It's not something we're looking forward to. <coughs> I'm making it actually. <gasps> he came back. I'm making it pretty far with one water Ted really I don't think I can send anybody out now it's easy to feel a bit down when living underground like this no sunshine no sky we need to get rid of that pessimism and try to bring some cheerfulness into our lives Ted has safely returned from his voyage the majority of the local gas station was destroyed gasoline reserves blew up too probably did more damage than the atomic bomb the only thing left intact was the cashier's booth along with some cars and the gas price board. We war or not, prices are still growing every day. There's an abandoned truck in line for the gas pump. We got some soup. A few water bottles are scattered around the cashier's booth. None of the explosions damaged them. That's so funny how that pipe shadow got burned into the wall. Only one water bottle. We, mm, that's, that's one and <laughs> it's one day. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Dolores is fine. Ted is about to die. So Ted, you can have food. Timmy, you can have water. And you are fine, Dolores. We took some time examining a map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled. A few scrub scribbled in a few places. It appeared as if someone we can't. Nobody can go outside. Wow. Fun everyone's crazy and sick and dying childish drawings on a map are not exactly a good reason to risk our heads this whole mess of a situation what would be buried there if anything at all half a dozen bottle caps clearly not worth the risk timmy's getting sicker she's thirsty ted's hungry when this woman came back she was trying to start all kinds of problems okay no one can go on an expedition Ted's no condition. She's feeble. He's fragile. No, no expedition. Oh, Timmy it was always a wild one. A shelter is not the best environment for a boy who's hell bent on running around until he can barely breathe. 
really miss this thought. He asked if he could go out to the service even for a short while. Yes. Yes, you may. You're sickly, but I don't, you know, maybe you might find something. You might find something. He, he left for a day. Timmy can sneak like a secret agent man, but that might not be enough to avoid the band of ragers camp near our shelter. We possibly probably assume he isn't coming back. Oh my God. When we consented, Timmy almost hit his head on the ceiling. We figured that if it doesn't encounter any savages, Michi had beasts or killer minds, he should be fine and back soon enough. Dolores has rested. Ted is hungry and thirsty. Ted, enjoy. Dolores, have some food. I don't think he's coming back either. Oh, she can go outside. We found an anonymous note next to our shelter door. Whoever wrote it requests that we send a representative to a meeting tonight in a set location. That person must come unarmed. As far as us, but the author assures us is friendly and doesn't mean to hurt us. You know what, mom? Go. Go for it. Go. We're running out of food and water. Go for it. Okay, he's better now. And she came back unharmed. It's true. It's true. There really are others just like us. We arrived at the rendezvous unarmed and on time and we were greeted by a friendly looking group of survivors. They're being led by twins, a brother, sister, who seem to be friendly enough. They asked us some questions and promised to stay in touch. Dolores is tired. Ted is fine. Um, I guess food. It's really annoying. He's gone. He's, he's dead. She's been dead. <laughs> Loris is in pretty good shape. Yes, Ted is good. Okay, we can we can go outside. The raider on our street has been especially maddening lately. They're acting like real savages. We don't have weapons. So live with it. What was that sound? Going out there and provoking these brutes is the last thing we want to do. We simply don't stand a chance. It's harsh, but the truth compared to them are innocent, delicate flowers. Dolores is fine and well, as much as anyone can be, and Tim is okay. Um, Dolores, you may have some food, and no one's having that last sliver of water. Dolores, you are going out, and you can take... Ooh, the map. Take the map with you. Day we are making it pretty far for having absolutely nothing but i did put it on easy dolores is on her way to the surface let's hope she'll make it back safe and soon ted is about to die of thirst so we are out of water and wow it's very difficult to prepare for unforeseen consequences we already saw this one we made it 30 days uh, awesome who knows, maybe the new world will offer new opportunities and it won't be that bad. Ted's okay. Um, we have no water, Ted. You can have some food. Um, you should probably calm down. Try something relaxing. Yeah, Ted. Play some board games by yourself. We made a month. I'm proud of me. Having some fun made us forget about whatever it was. Ted's good. We're not eating. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. Our child died. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from the retirement home. It shouldn't be hard to borrow some of their supplies. Yes, please. We need water so bad. The dark side? Did we steal their supplies? We went to get what we needed and came back. We're sure the group will do just fine. We didn't take water, really. We took poison. We don't have a flashlight. I'm surprised that we're lasting this long. I really, really am. Ted's about to die. Oh, I heard a plane open in the name of freedom. Came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we couldn't hear. We could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. We don't have any water and we're gonna die. So, you know, oh, that's such a scary sound. Our wife's back and she didn't bring any water. 
you brought an axe. But you didn't bring any water, and that was the whole reason that you left. When you peeked outside, you were greeted by a oh, she didn't even bring the axe. You were greeted by a group of high school students. They were all well equipped and looked like they could take care of themselves. They questioned us about enemy combatants in the area. We couldn't help them, but we were happy to leave one of their spare axes with us. In case we need to defend ourselves when we ask why would they help us, they replied, it's what Wolverines do. Dolores is back. The search was futile. Freaking Dolores. Our map took a beating. Dolores is hungry. Ted's gun needs to drink something, and we don't have any drinks, so... Ted, you are, you're going out next, like... We were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be at this part of the wasteland? How did they survive the nuke? Yes. You know, I, I don't know. Like, I'm just gonna say yes to everything. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, Ted died of dehydration. I thought he died of getting shot. Oh, we did. <laughs> Dolores is dying. Dolores was hurt. Dolores, our son's not coming back. Ted's dead. We can't, you can't go on an excursion. And she's gonna die of dehydration because she can't go out. Ew. Dolores is not eaten. Dolores needs to drink. Her sanity is questionable. Doris is too feeble and can't go. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup, they're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back. And they're bigger every time you see them. Can't go on like this. Yes, poison. She poisoned herself. When it's us or them, there shouldn't be any reservations when it comes to choosing your arsenal. Knew the spires did no chance against well-aimed bug-killing spray, so we used it. When it was over, a few remaining spires fled. Why can't we get any water? Why he's gonna, she's gonna die of dehydration too? Great, great. Can we make it 40 days? Yeah. She will not survive any longer without water. Shame. Play your board game for the last time, child. The end. Oh my god. Uh, I should never let Timmy go outside. The girls are very kind. Their prices were more than fair, so we gladly accepted the offer. If we only had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Dolores died of dehydration. All the places we could have perished, this is probably the best one, or maybe not. That is that for this game. Maybe we'll try a different level, just the survival, instead of the gathering things level, because I am horrible at that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time with another part of this. <laughs> I love you so, so much. Okay, goodbye.